name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing how to use homeopathic remedies on ailments, continuing with ailments starting with the letter M. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Please refer to my How to Use Homeopathic Remedies video before using the material of this video. I'll be discussing how to use homeopathic remedies on specific ailments, but I've broken these ailments into categories for easier reference. I'll begin with ailments of the mind and emotions, then move on to the ailments of the brain and nervous system, then I'll address issues with your skin, nails, and hair, then conditions of the eyes, ears, and nose, teeth, gums, lungs, respiration, heart, blood, circulation, muscles, bones, joints, then ailments of the esophagus, stomach, duodenum, small and large intestines, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, then ailments of the kidneys and bladder, then ailments specific to women, specific to men, and issues of the hormone and the metabolism, and then I'll address the issues of homeopathic remedies on infections, infestations, and the immune system, then issues surrounding fertility and pregnancy and surrounding childbirth and postnatal problems, then homeopathic remedies that address special problems in infants, ailments and diseases of childhood, special issues of adolescence, and finally, special issues of the elderly. Constitutional treatment involves treating the totality of the individual person. Everyone is a unique individual with a unique physiology that responds to substances differently. In homeopathy, it is recognized that people will react strongly to certain remedies, and as a result of this, they can be loosely placed into different categories called constitutional types. Homeopaths talk, for example, of phosphoric types. These are people who react strongly to phosphorus, or arsenicum album types, those who react strongly to arsenicum album. The belief is that people of one type share similarities in terms of body shape, character, and personality, and the sorts of diseases from which they suffer. As an example, natremure people tend to be pear-shaped, have a dark complexion, be fastidious and rigid in personality, and keep themselves to themselves. They also crave salt and suffer from constipation. As another example, lycopodium types tend to be tall, gangly, and of stooped appearance, with an anxious expression and a craving for sweets, and a propensity to produce intestinal gas. Of course, constitutional types do have their limitations. In reality, each person is an individual, and so there are many constitutional types as there are human beings. An account must be taken of the sum total of the person's inherent predispositions, past illnesses, diet, general reactions to the environment, intellectual and emotional features, and general attitude towards life. This is what is meant by constitutional treatment. I'll be making detailed vis videos on the various constitutional types after I've completed the use of homeopathic remedies on the ailments. The ideas, procedures, and suggestions in this video and all my homeopathic videos are not intended as a substitute for the medical advice of a trained health professional. Consult your physician before adopting the suggestions in this video. If you're pregnant, do not attempt these techniques without the approval of your physician. So, let's continue with learning how homeopathic treatments can help with mental and emotional ailments. Today, we will continue with mental and emotional ailments that begin with the letter M. Manic Depression Manic Depressive Disorder is characterized by inexplicable and extreme mood swings, from joy and elation to gloom and apathy, interspersed with periods of normal functioning. Changes of mood are often of normal human functioning, but they last only a short while and have fairly obvious causes. For someone who is a manic depressive, the highs are very high and the lows are very low and can last for weeks and neither seem to be linked with obvious external causes. When the manic depressive is in the deep depression part of the cycle, suicide is unlikely, but the risk of suicide increases as the mood begins to swing up again. In the manic phrase, the person is frenetically active 
full of plans and projects, few of which are accomplished. The behavior may also be reckless or socially unacceptable. Most people, when they are ill, suffer not only from the basic diagnostic symptoms of the disease, but also from other symptoms that are specific to each person. In orthodox medicine, these individual symptoms are mostly unimportant. But in homeopathy, they are vital to give the correct prescription. This is why different patients may receive different remedies for the same disease. Constitutional treatment involves treating the totality of the individual person. Some important additional things that can be done to strengthen the body so that it can focus on healing itself are proper nutrition first and foremost, and a comprehensive vitamin and mineral supplementation program, which I've outlined in my videos on these topics in my Maintenance of Good Health playlist. Homeopathy offers constitutional treatment for manic depressives and also a number of remedies for use during manic episodes. For remedies during the depressive periods, use the homeopathic remedies for depression. If the person is suicidal, call 911. If they're hallucinating or uncontrollably violent during, during a manic episode, call a regular doctor within two hours. These homeopathic remedies are to be given every four hours for up to ten doses or every one half hour for up to six doses if the mania is extreme. 1. For the manic person that is convinced that they're going to die and are not thirsty and are very jealous, use Apis 30C. 2. For the manic person who is hallucinating, quarrelsome, making obscene remarks and is afraid of being poisoned, use Hyosiamus 6C. 3. For the manic person that looks as if they have a high fever with a red face and eyes wild and staring, use Belladonna 30C. 4. For the manic person whose sense of time is awry, where everything is very slowed down with uncontrollable laughter and elated eye exalted ideas, Use Cannabis Ind, 6C. 5. For the manic person who has flashes of temper and the moods go up and down like a yo-yo and who find reassurances to have a calming effect, use Phosphorus, 6C. Memory Loss Brief loss of memory is not uncommon after drinking alcohol or after a high fever, an operation, an epileptic fit, or a diabetic coma. Depression and anxiety can also cause temporary memory loss. In these circumstances, inability to remember is not something to worry about, nor is everyday forgetfulness, which tends to increase as we get older. Most of us cope by using mnemonic aids, such as lists and diaries. We also tend to forget unpleasant things. Hysterical amnesia is a partial or total repression of memories that are too threatening to live with. Memory loss can also follow an accident or injury, temporarily wiping out the events that led up to it. Brain injury, especially after a blow to the head or a stroke, can cause irreversible memory loss, affecting intelligence, intelligence personality, speech, and movement. Senile dementia involves a pro progression, progressive loss of short-term memory until eventually the person is quite unable to remember what they did or said or heard or saw a moment before. Memory difficulties can also be a side effect of some prescription drugs. If memory loss occurs after a head injury, see a doctor within two hours. If the memory loss occurs after taking a new drug, then see a regular doctor within 48 hours. Memory difficulties are often associated with symptoms that benefit from constitutional homeopathic treatment and are therefore best treated constitutionally. Most people, when they are ill, suffer no... Okay, um, some important additional things that can be done to strengthen the body so that it can focus on healing itself are proper nutrition first and foremost, and a comprehensive vitamin and mineral supplementation program, which I've outlined in my videos on these topics in, the, in my Maintenance of Good Health playlist. Specific Remedies These homeopathic remedies are to be given four times daily for up to four days. 1. 
For the person experiencing memory loss who is elderly and behaves childishly and whose attention wanders and finds words most difficult to remember, use Calcaria 6C. 2. For the person experiencing memory loss where words cause the most difficulty, the person is anemic, colicky, or suffering from a nervous complaint, use Plumbum 6C. 3. For the person experiencing memory loss who is absent-minded because of inner conflict between two seemingly different personalities and has difficulty remembering names, use Anacardium 6C. 4. For the person experiencing memory loss and has difficulty remembering words and names, use Sulfur 6C. Specific Remedies After a Head Injury for treating a person that has suffered a head injury, these homeopathic remedies are to be used. 1. The person suffering from a head injury that forgets that they, what they've just heard, read, or said, or is about to say, or are also slow in answering questions, use Arnica, Arnica 30C every 2 hours for up to 10 doses. 2. The person suffering from a head injury who is still experiencing memory difficulties after taking Arnica then use Helleborus 6C every 8 hours for up to 14 days. Mental Exhaustion Mental exhaustion is also referred to as a nervous exhaustion or a nervous breakdown. It signifies a sudden inability to cope. This is usually caused by overwork or other forms of pressure. Just as ligaments and tendons can be stretched beyond their elastic limit, so can the emotional and mental resources of people be stretched beyond their limits. Some people have more resilience and stamina, more ability to absorb stress for longer periods than others. If it takes very little to topple you into anxiety or depression, constitutional homeopathic treatment could help. Most people, when they are ill, suffer not only from the basic diagnostic symptoms of the disease, but also from other symptoms that are specific to each person. In orthodox medicine, these individual symptoms are mostly unimportant, but in homeopathy, they are vital for giving the correct prescription. This is why different patients may receive different remedies for the same diseases. Specific Remedies these homeopathic remedies are to be taken every two hours for up to 10 doses. 1. The person feels emotionally drained by grief, is very apathetic and physically exhausted. Use phosphoric acid 6C. 2. The person feels a lack of willpower or determination. Use picric acid 6C. 3. The person feels mentally exhausted after working for exams. Use Anacardium 6C. 4. The person has a headache and is exhausted from overwork. Use Cilicia 6C. 5. The person has great sensitivity to noise, is forgetful, and has a tendency to repeat everything. Use Zinc 6C. I have a great many videos now on many different topics and so I decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.